the first what you see is the fixed bearing the bottom component gray color is a steel component it is called pot then the black color disc is the elastomer disc which may be neoprene or natural rubber as per different uh, country specifications this is the sealing ring which seals this elastomer in between bottom and top component this is the external seal or dust seal which prevent the ingress of dust inside the pot and this is the top component which is called piston so when this assembly is complete this bearing is able to take vertical load it is able to offer rotation and it is able to transfer the horizontal forces in both direction it does not provide any movement now the same assembly is hereby modified but the top fixed component is now getting different shape and there is a sliding material on top of it and we get a third component introduced which is the top plate sliding plate now by virtue of this additional component and the sliding interface at the top this bearing is now able to offer free movement in both directions in addition to satisfying the vertical load and rotation requirements of course uh, it is not uh, difficult to imagine this bearing will not be able to take any horizontal force because it is free to move in both directions and then the third one is a guided bearing and this guided bearing because of these guides is then restricted to move in one direction but it is free to offer movement in the other direction also the arrangement of guide could be different also this one is an example of central guided system which is uh, popular in other countries but in india mostly we are following the sideways guide system where there are two guides projecting from the top plate at the two sides running parallel to each other 